Joining me from Los Angeles is Hamoud Sali. He is a professor of political science and an associate dean at California State University, Dominguez Hills. Professor Sali, we just saw in that piece how some towns are starting to rebuild. Is Syria slowly getting back to normal? In some areas, uh, much better than others, uh, but this is uh, uh, a feature of uh, what happened in post-colonial societies. And usually the most affected sectors, in addition to health uh, and other services, is the educational center. A lot of children find themselves unable to attend the school, and when schools are offered, the quality of education is, is poor. So uh, Syria is coming slowly, but it takes a long time uh, because of uh, what Syria has gone in the last seven years or so. And on the topic of rebuilding, I understand a major border crossing is about to open with Jordan. Uh, can you explain how significant that is? That is very, very significant to Syria and for the economy, if also perhaps finding a way for the refugees. But it opens another window for, uh, for some breathing, uh, uh, for breathing both the Syrians and Jordanians. So it's a good news. Uh, those are some of the facets that are happening and, and are going in the right direction. And some put the uh, death toll from the Syrian civil war at about half a million, perhaps even more. So in light of that, in light of all, this, all these deaths and the destruction there, is a political deal even feasible after that? It's really tough. I mean, we've seen in uh, some societies, uh, Algeria, for example, is a good example. It was the state or the military that forced its will on the entire country after it imposed uh, order. What we've seen a similar pattern happening in Syria, uh, despite with a little bit of a difference, uh, that the, the Syrian regime has been able to take control in the whole area. So the political solution that will come out of this would be a sort of reflection of that dominance. What complicates Syria further is the presence of foreign uh, countries, including uh, regional, as well as the strategies of the big powers, namely uh, Russia and the, uh, and the United States. And uh, it is clear uh, that these players have an important role or an important, uh, 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 they are a uh, strong instrument in achieving a political uh, solution. But uh, the Syrian regime is in a better position than it was uh, uh, years ago, perhaps a year ago. So any political solution has to go through the, the Syrian regime. Uh, given that, and you touched on it, uh, so how, how much of a role do foreign uh, countries play, those outside of Syria? Well, for example, the biggest one is the Kurdish area, where uh, you have the Turkish uh, problem. Uh, you have also the United States, which has influence in that region. The United States doesn't want to—there uh, 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 will not be any solution without the United States presence. The uh, minorities, uh, particularly the, uh, uh, the, the Kurds, the Turkmen, and, and others, all will have some say. At issue uh, these days is whether you have have a, uh, a regime uh, uh, you could deal uh, whether the transition will be under Bashar or not. All countries, most of them, have agreed that uh, a transition with uh, Assad uh, is possible, and they were supported. But for how long is that transition? I think uh, we are entering a very sort of complicated phase. Uh, but once again, what's happening on the ground, namely uh, the takeover by the Syrian uh, regime uh, uh, territories, uh, that would sort of be uh, the final. Uh, uh, solutions and how this uh, 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 Syria would emerge. I don't see a Syria emerging without uh, the imprint of uh, President Bashar al-Assad for the obvious reason uh, that they are the ones that are most affected. And so far, it, it, it is clear that without Bashar, uh, Syria could be in bigger, bigger trouble. Still a very complex situation there. Professor Hamoud yeah. Sali of California State University, thanks so much for your perspective. You're welcome. Bye-bye.